Hello, good morning, good evening. What you're about to see... What you're about to see is a combination between frustration, anger, and... And, and, uh, depression all at once. What you're about to see is going to be very, very hard for me and for you. Please watch. This is your boy Fogbound F5, and welcome to Getting Over It with Ben and Foddy. Now, this is gonna be my first ever like horror game. This is gonna be my first ever horror game gameplay for the uh, for October, you know, for Halloween and stuff. I know a lot of you may be wondering, dude, why are you playing Getting Over It? Like, it's not a horror game, dude. Trust me. When you go to Steam and you and you check this game, the tag is gonna say psychological horror. Okay, I'm not I'm not BSing this. When you search it up on Steam, it's gonna be it's it's legit gonna say psychological horror. Okay. Now a lot of you may know this game, some of you may not. But what it is that basically is like um it's just a game where you're supposed to reach the summit of the mountain. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of anger and stress and involved in this. But let's see if we can get let's see if we can overcome all those odds and we just get over it. Anyways. I like to say thank you guys for supporting me. Um, I've been trying. I've been trying really hard to like record any other. Uh, trying hard recording, biding my time. You know, getting the schedule on. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on to um, so that you don't miss a video. And I'm getting way over myself. So let's get let's get let's play getting over it with Ben and Foddy. We're going in. Uh, this is gonna be exciting. I'm using the the mouse thing, so. <clears throat> okay, already. Uh. Yeah, this is setting up those vibes already. <laughs> All right, damn it. Ah, <laughs> I can tell why people get pissed at this. Uh, 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 let's just do it. You know. All right. All right. Such pretty castle. See that? That's how you do stuff right there. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Oh, very. Oh, All right. so peaceful. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Okay, I'll understand funny. if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, I'll save your progress, <laughs> always. Even your mistakes. What? This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Mm. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Okay, thank you. 
So this game is based off of a 2000 game called Sexy Hikings. Ah, oh, come on, this is good. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not doing that. But there, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh god. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. Oh, is it? Oh, is that a punch in the gut? Oh, is it? You don't know nothing about gut punching, mister. Damn it! Dude, the thing's, dude, the thing's having a mind of his own right now. Up we go. Oh, oh god. Oh, 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 oh damn it. Hold on. Damn, this thing's so sensitive. Alright. <clears throat> oh, come on. <clears throat> Dude, this thing sounds sensitive right now. Whoop. Ah. <clears throat> All right, hold up. I gotta change the freaking um, sensitivity in this thing. Maybe like down here, I guess. Oh, fine. Yeah. <coughs> Damn it! Uh, I'm gonna be here for quite a while. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Ah, don't, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> so anyways, getting over it is basically a rage game. Maybe psychological horror, I know, I have no idea. Thank you for joining, thank you for freaking, um, thank you for joining me on this journey. I will try not to disappoint, but I just want to freaking get up of freaking... Oh, oh, okay. Damn it! Come on, game, work with me. Ugh. Dude, this thing has, literally has a mind of its own, really. Alright, uh. Yes. Uh, no. Uh. Calm down now. All right. Uh. Oh, come on, don't. Damn it. Game! Freaking game. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can try and keep my sanity down. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. <gasps> oh, anyway, when you like start that. sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might passed. take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them, once you have the correct method, or the correct equipment, or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. 
Yeah, very real. Gosh, you're gonna need like a bigger mouse track pad or like a carpet for. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, damn it, game. Oh. Oh, back to the beginning we go. Trial and error. At its finest. God, this is like a real gut punch right here. I'm not even doing that. Damn game. Whoop. See, if I do that, it will clean you. Through the sensitivity. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hold up. Maybe the sensitivity has to be a little bit higher or something. Oof, sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that. Get over the So every time <laughs> Take your time <sighs> God, this game's gonna be so crap. <laughs> skills right there.
<clears throat> All right, don't slow and steady now. Game. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard but I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past a new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Oh my God, it's so stressful. Oh, it's dark. Dude, this is so stress for stress. This is so freaking stressful as enough as it is right now game game <coughs> don't do that oh. <coughs> thanks <coughs> Damn it! Dang. <clears throat> Come on, I did it on my first try. There we go. Damn it! <laughs> Karma at its finest. Huh. Alright, such a big hustle. <clears throat> Sexy play by Ari. gonna be good this is gonna be good <sighs> when you're building a video game world you're building with ideas oh. and that can be like working with quick set cement mm. you mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with and in the process of playing with them they begin to harden and set until they're immutable like rock and at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Don't push. Ooh. Come on, just... Game, work with me here. Work with me here, game. Just hand it right there. Go up, then push up. Alright, and... Ugh. Right now I'm trying to be extra careful, like, cause, you know, like he said, it's a frustrating game. Like what Ben and Foddy said, it's a frustrating freaking game. Like, you don't know when you're gonna fuck up. Uh, damn it. Alright. Come on. Stand there. Stand. There. Mm. 
Okay, calm down now. Maybe just push up from here. Oh. Light, come on, game. Uh, already, I'm starting to get psychological now. Don't go that side, freaking go this side. Push up. God. Damn it. Come on. Hold up. Uh. Damn it. I don't get why there's a house on the side of a roof. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the oh, first time. Oh, screw off with you, you piece of shit. I didn't do this part already. You're just saying that. Just, <sighs> you're just saying that just so you can get me pissed off. <clears throat> You've done this part before. You know it's possible. How is this possible? Ah! Damn it! Come on, game. Up. Oh. Okay. All right. Come on. All right. Alley oop. me game don't push ah uh, what was that uh. dude I'm gonna need a bigger mouse than for this okay that pushed me off thanks a lot game Thanks a lot, game. <coughs> come on. Don't. Come on. <laughs> Fucking get up. I'm not even doing nothing. Huh? Oh. oh, don't do that to me. God, I'm trying my best to keep my sanity at at an all time low. It's not me, guys. Really, send help.
Oh, that was... Maybe wall jumping would do? And then head down. Come on, game. <clears throat> oh, oh. God. God, I hate stuck in this part. Dude, this is freaking complete and utter shite. Uh, uh, oh. Come on, I had it. Uh, Come on, take your timer. Get that inner tranquility on you. And up! Damn it! I don't get why this is considered psychological horror. Maybe something mental and stuff. Up. <coughs> I'm not even doing that. Come on, game. Ugh. This game is made to be frustrating. <gasps> I had it. Ah. Uh. God, this is so complete, utter shite. <clears throat> I don't get how this dude is in the cauldron. Come on, game. I'm playing as carefully as I can. Come on, keep your balance. Bounce. Damn physics! Damn game physics! Just. Mm. Mm. 
Come on. Come on. No! Come on, game! Hup! You're not even trying, game! Hup! Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Hold up. Watch this. Pro gamer move right here. Damn it! Damn it, karma will bite you in the ass in this game. Karma will seriously bite you in the ass. Stay there, okay. Don't do anything stupid now. Up. Oh. oh. Okay, calm down, calm down. Calm your dumb rolls. Calm your dumb rolls. Damn it! I said calm! Damn it! Okay, uh. <coughs> not. Well, I didn't tend up or whatever. Come on. Ah! Come on, game. All right. Just up the side. Grab up. Uh, pull up. Pull up. All right, starting to get glitchy. I'm not sure. Up. Oh. Yeah. For years now, people have been predicting oh, that games would soon be made now. out of prefabricated it's objects, very glitchy. bought in a store, and assembled into a Yo, world. Hold up. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Mm -hmm. Things are made to be consumed and Ooh, used in that? a certain context. Mm. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Mm. Mm. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Ooh. All right. 
caught up. There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned stuff scenes on LiveLeak, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds, until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? Hold up. Hold up, take a little break right there. Gotta see how long I've recorded. Alright. I mean, it's okay and all, but really. Ugh. Come to think of it, just. <laughs> Gonna see how, f you know what? This is this game is very stressful. Just to let you know, I think I might pause it there. Just so I don't get even more angry and frustrating. You got enough. You got enough. You got enough anger already. So yeah, this is getting over it. Getting over it. But with Ben and Foddy, a very strange game, psychological horror, and very, very, very frustrating stuff that you're about to see for the past three weeks of me persevering this. I'll get back to the Henry Stickman collections anytime soon, okay? But right now, throughout this t through the times right now, we gotta go with the Halloween theme because, you know, October, Halloween, you know, all that stuff. This is basically the, this is basically the cheapest game I can get right now. But, look, all I know is that you're in for a treat. This is your boy Fogbound F5 signing up.